video. Yes, we are live. Hej san allihop. Välkomna till Johns veranda som idag är Sophie Solo. Sophie Solo, welcome to Johns veranda. I am sitting on my dad's balcony uh, at his house in Gangnef and uh, it's beautiful. I'll show you later what it looks like from the balcony, but it's really lovely. And John isn't here because he's been working in the church all day <laughs> and now he you know, he hasn't slept hardly at all last night. He's played in the church, worked in the church all day. And then he's driven to Mora because he wanted to play some tunes on the stage in the bear pub. So, om du befinner dig i Mora, Jonas, Maria, kanske några andra, så är John på the bear pub och ska spela lite ikväll. Kanske en timme eller sådär, bara på kul. Så åk gärna dit och kolla in vad han håller på med. Jag trodde han skulle sova för att han var trött. Men det är nej. If John gets to play the guitar, he's not tired. The guitar is calling, if it is on, you won't do it. I am having a non-alcoholic beer and I'm saying cheers and glad midsommar. Glad midsommar party, hope you have a jättefin helg. We had a great day, three spelling at night, Sälen, Sälen, Leksand. It was shit cool. And then we have slept, not so much at all. I drove to Sälen, I went to Gagnef. And now I'm in Mora, I'm in Gagnef. And I thought I'd play a little fjol-låta for you. Now, Elaine Andrews, we've been in conversation all day about these fiddle tunes. We've been in conversation all day about these fiddle tunes. Now, Elaine Andrews, we've been in conversation all day about these fiddle tunes. Uh, from last night, and I thought, why not do John's Veranda Sophie solo? Hi, Elaine, just talking about you. <laughs> why not do this John's Veranda tonight? The, I'll do these fiddle tunes from last night that you were wondering about. So I could play them and you, you'll hear them maybe more clearly uh, without the background noise and stuff. And uh, I'll show you, I'm going to hold up the notes just now. Thanks so much, Heidi. How did you have it in my summer? I hope it's been great. So, Elaine. I'm going to play these tunes especially for you, but of course also for anybody else who might want to learn some Swedish fiddle tunes. Om du vill lära dig några svenska fjolåtar som du kan liksom briljera med på midsommar sådär. Kanske öva ett år till nästa år om du inte spelar fjol förut förstås. Och sen drar du fram fjolen nästa midsommar och kör de här låtarna. Du kommer att golva varenda kusin och eh, mormor. Yes, skål på det. So Elaine, I was just saying, hey Karin, hey oh, Karin, du är i Siljans näs. Har du flyttat till Siljans näs, hörde jag. Vilken bra idé, Siljans näs som är typ finast i hela världen. Mm. I kväll kör vi svenska fjolåtar på verandan, Karin. So for you Elaine, you were asking about three tunes in particular. And I'm going to start from the end. I'm going to start with the one that you asked about that is called Gyris Valsen. From Elvdalen. We used to play this a lot with a wonderful accordion player in the fiddle group in Sälen, who unfortunately died last year, and we miss him so much. Um, yeah, he did his last gig with us about a year ago, and then, then he's not with us anymore, so it's such a shame. But he did, he, he just did some great tunes, and this is one that he taught us. I'm just going to find the notes. I should have done this before, shouldn't I? Elvdalen, there we go. I'm using these amazing books. Uh, now, I think this is back to front because I didn't I don't have horizontal flip on my phone. Uh, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> you just have to turn the video camera to picture yourself. Hey, Anders. Hi, Peter. Hello. Anders, you know these tunes very well, so you can join in with them on your accordion. Now, I'm going to hold up the notes. And of course, I just realized, Elaine, these notes are going to be back to front, aren't they? Uh, what you could do, I suppose, is like take a still of this screen and then uh, turn it around on your computer and voila, you're going to have the notes for Jyrisvalsen. So, då kör vi. Hoppas inte kommer för många myggor. So, Elaine, here's Jyrisvalsen.
Hansen från Älvdalen alltså. Three parts on that tune and uh, second part is kind of hard Elaine as you heard. It goes from like bottom string up to top string and you go, whew, what happened there? Um, and Einar, our accordion player, he usually finishes with like runs through the A part to finish off the tune, which I think is quite nice to do. Um, I was going to say as well, yes, Swedish waltzes. You know how we have so many different three, three, um, three, four timings, and waltzes try and just tap on the one, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. <laughs> yeah, it's a challenge, and then tap on one. On polskas, you usually tap on one and three, but waltzes are much better if you just tap on one. Um, yeah, it's a challenge that one, but it's a good fun one. And Elaine, I thought what I could do is well, I'll take a picture of all the notes and I'll just put them in the comment section. And that way, anybody who wants to learn these tunes, and I'll, of course, credit the book as well. And I'll, I could type out actually where you order the books from because they're really, really good. Really fantastic tunes and with harmonies as well. So I'll do that after I played. So who's on there? Anders was on there, Elaine. Uh, Karin, let me know what you're doing tonight. It would be really nice to see what you, how you're spending Midsummer's Day. Yesterday was the big day here, and today is not as big, but it's nice anyway. And we'll continue the fiddle tunes. Now, Elaine, you asked about a tune from Idre uh, in three parts, and it's it's a tune called it's just called Chotis from Idre, and I usually say the one in three parts. There's so many Chotis from Idre. Idre is a small village in the north of this province, Dalarna. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't have a better name for it. <laughs> it's also in three parts. I, tre delar. Uh, I think it's you could if you want to specify what the tune is, you can um kind of say who they're as played by. I know, isn't it great? It's in D minor. So many tunes in Sweden are Oh Visst är det fin musik, Karin. Jag ska se om jag kommer på något från Silhans näs. Sweden and Germany are playing football tonight, and I think Sweden is in the lead, is that right, Karin? 1-0, eller 1-0 till uh, Sverige. Det var det sista jag kollade i alla fall. Yeah, it's in D minor, Elaine, and so many tunes in Sweden are in D minor. Um, 
I'll hold it up, but I, I'm gonna take a photo later as well. You can kind of say "hot is efter stor bojöns och stor jo halvard" if you want to specify. I, I usually say the the "hot is from Idre in three parts, and usually people know which one it is. Ett ett. Nja. One one. Sweden Germany. Come on, Sweden. Go Sweden. Okay, let's all do like mental uh, focus so that Sweden wins. That would be nice. Elaine, let's see. There was another tune you were asking about, and that was a waltz as well. And guess what? It's in D minor. <laughs> we played a gig with the local fiddle group in Tronstad a couple of weeks ago, and I realized as I was standing on stage with the list and the group in front of me, I thought, I've just put together a set list where every tune is in D. There was like, I think there was one tune in G, in G and the rest was in G, uh, D. Everything is in D. David, David, David. You have to shout out David all the time. <laughs> but D minor you can do as like a variation. And that was a variation D minor. And here's another one in D minor. But I think the strangeness as well, Elaine, is probably that there's a lot of accidentals as well. Um, especially the C's. <laughs> and the C sharps. And the, and the F sharp and the F. And the... D minor, uh, sorry, B flat, B. All of them are kind of varied as well, so that's why it sounds so so different. This one I'm going to do now. Then it's in D minor, and it's written by a guy called Hökpär, Hökpär, and he's from Dalafloda in the west. Sounds great, doesn't it? Uh, Hökpär is from the uh, western parts of Dalarna, um, Vester Dalarna, and he. He's very much alive. He still writes tunes and he's out there playing a lot. He's over in New York at the moment playing with um, a fiddle group from this province, Dalarna. They're playing in the Battery Park in New York uh, for the Swedish Midsummer Celebrations. And um, this one that I'm going to play now and the one that you like there, um, Elaine, is the one that is the most popular one of his tunes. I mean, this has kind of become a one of those classics. It's like a new tune, but it's a classic already. Everyone plays it. Now, if I could just find it in the book as well, so I know. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'll hold it up, and it's not much point, is it? Because it's back to front. As I said, I'll put out a photo later. Hökpärs vals from Dalafloda. This is not as played by, but it's by Lars Hökpärs. Um, so I'm going to try and tap on the one, remember? Because it, it makes the waltz much better.
Hökpers vals av Lars Hökpers från Dalafloda alltså. Hej Måd, hej jag såg en skymt av dig igår <laughs> I, vid båtarna där i Sälen. Hoppas det är bra med dig, du var så fin i din dräkt. Skål everyone, glad midsommar. I'm having a non-alcoholic beer even though John's not here. I'm not drinking alcohol really either since John stopped. Nice beer though, so um, big skål and cheers to you all. Elaine, I think I think maybe there's a connection there. Like if you love Swedish music, you love D minor, or and the opposite. You know, if you're into D minor, you're gonna love Swedish folk music because there's so much D minor, and it's a great key for the fiddle, really is. John wanted me. I, oh yeah, John wanted me to just tell you a little bit about we were recording. We've been recording two new songs this week. Jag har spelat in två nya låtar den här veckan. Jag ska bara lägga på trummor och så ska det mixas. Så där. Hej Janove, jag väntade på dig. <laughs> Glad midsommar, skål. Hoppas du har det bra. Borta i Jördalen. Ja, uh, yeah, we've been doing two new songs this week in Swedish. And one of them actually has one of, well, like Sweden's most famous fiddle tune on it. Gärdubelåten. And usually you play that one in D. Because D is so good on the fiddle. I mean, D just fits so well. And it sounds great. Um, but in this song... Because I'm singing it in A, I had to play Jadebilåten in A, and it's like, hmm, I, I, I realize why Jadebilåten and all the other tunes are in D, because A is much harder <laughs> to play, <laughs> much more stretching of the fingers. Now let's see, Karin Matson, you are on there, and you have just moved to Siljans Näs. I wonder if I, I'm not going to play that many tunes because it's getting a little bit midgy. Um, Knotten börjar komma lite här och... Myggen. Jag tänkte också att jag skulle ta och åka bort till södra Rälta kanske och titta lite vad de gör där på majsångsresningen. I'm just going to see if I can find a tune, in, uh, a tune from Silans Näs. Just because Karin Mattsson is watching and she has just moved to Silans Näs. Um, ah, this one is actually in, I think this one is an A minor, is it? Yeah, it's an A minor this one. Oh, a little bit of a change. Just warning you, this is not one of the ones I'm best at, this tune. It's called Polska efter skinnarfar. Skinnar Anders Larsson från Siljans näs. Um, so, let's see if I can... Uh, see if I can remind myself of this one. It's a good one. I had it in my, in my ring binder of good tunes. There it is. So I'm going to see if I can remind myself. Hope you like A minor too, Elaine. Oh yeah, this one is quite weird too. It's like an A minor, but not quite. So let's see.
bara sluta det så. <laughs> It just finishes on a note. I suppose it kind of makes you want more. It finishes on a, on a note where it's not quite the finishing note. It doesn't feel like the end note and it just want, leaves you wanting more. Och Karin, magisk utsikt att lyssna på dig. Vad kul! Det finns så många fina låtar från Siljans näs alltså. Och jag tror att um, jag ska ta en låt till. I'm gonna do one more tune uh, before I go in and check the football again with my dad and uh, i promised to mend his greenhouse door today and I haven't done it. So, okay, it's 10 to 10, but there's a saying in Sweden, uh, på kvällen får den late brott. Visst är det så, Karin? På kvällen får den late brott. Jag tror inte att jag är en lat person, men jag får väldigt bråttom på kvällen för det är så mycket som ska göras. <laughs> in, yeah, we say in the evening the lazy one gets um, in a hurry. I don't think I'm a lazy person, but I always go, oh my god, it's almost evening, I have to do everything now. So I'm going to mend his greenhouse door after I finish this. I'm going to do one more tune. And actually, just to do some variation, Elaine and everyone else, I'm going to do an, a tune in G minor. There it is. This one is called Polska efter Timas Anders. So because it's efter after as played by the guy called Tima Sanders. We don't really know who wrote it. He's not like the official writer. He just, uh, he's just the one who kind of played it and then they wrote it down. But it could have come from anywhere, you know, much further back in history. So very fascinating. I wanted to play this tune last night in the dance. Me and John were playing a dance in Lexan, but we didn't have time. So I'll do it now instead. It's not one I know really well, but I really like it. So I'm going to practice on you. Um, yeah, here we go. Before I, before I stop though, I'm just going to continue what I said about recording new songs. We did two new songs in Swedish. They are called Gangnef's Girl and they are, the other one is called Stockholm. Stockholm is a Swedish, my Swedish translation of Jason Isbell's song Stockholm. Slightly, it's about different things, but it's similar. And it's called Stockholm as well. And the second one is called Gangnef Girl in Swedish too. And we recorded a video for that at Engstons Folkpark on Thursday in the pouring rain. And it was so much fun. So I'm looking forward to showing you those, uh, playing the music and showing you the video. It's going to be good, I think. So, skål. Polska efter Timas Anders. Elaine, this is the other thing as well. Um, we play a lot of polskas in Sweden. I mean, if you play music like a lot of fiddle, then it's the polskas that are them. Yeah, I was going to say the important thing. It does feel like that because polskas are so, so important. Chotten's um, Vals, wonderful tunes too, but polskas are so much harder, like to dance and to play, which means that maybe they get a bit more status as well because they're a bit more difficult. Maybe that's what it is. You feel a bit fancier. If you can play lots of fancy polskas in minor keys. Um, and also, the other thing they say in Sweden is, the happier the fiddler gets, the more minor the tunes become. <laughs> ju, ju gladare fjolspelaren blir, desto molligare blir <laughs> låtarna. Det är konstigt det De spelmännen här i Sverige, man sitter och dricker och spelar och dricker och spelar. Och ju gladare man blir, ju senare på kvällen, desto sorgligare blir låtarna. Det är ingen, inget, inget konstigt att flera brudmarscher och sådär går i mål. We have actually even uh, wedding marches in Sweden in minor because it just feels so good with a minor sad feelings. That's my theory anyway. So let's see if I can remember this wonderful Polska FDT Mas Hans. Yeah, okay, I think I've got it.
Polska efter Timas Anders från Ore. Här vi får ni här som Gud för då tunes. Oh my gosh, look up Ore. Emotional drama. Yes, I will put. Elaine, I'll put photos of all the dots for you. For all the, to all the tunes I've been doing tonight. And also, yeah, and I'll, I'll credit the books of course and show you pictures of the books in there as well. Um, Ore. There's a fiddler from Ure called Ola Beckström. And he, oh, he used to play with the band Swap. Do you remember them, Elaine? Did you ever hear Swap? I'm seeing thumbs up and hearts. So, yeah, I take it that you know about Swap, Elaine. <sighs> det samma mål. Det klar midsommar för dig var du än är. Och uh, sälen kanske. Ha det så jättebra. Vi ses igen snart. Elaine, Swap. I mean, I don't have words for that band. I, I don't think there's been a better band in the history of music. Maybe big words, but I really love them. And one of the fiddle players, the, the guy, was Ola Beckström, who still plays. He has a really great band called Boot. And uh, I'll put some links up for that as well. I don't know if you heard of Bo Boot, um, Elaine, but they are wonderful too. So I'll put links up for, for Ola's stuff as well. But... Ola plays so many Ore. I think he's from Ore. And he plays so many amazing Ore tunes. So that one is from Ore. And I'll put the, the music in the, the link as well. A link in the comments. Now that was the last tune for tonight. Because the midges are out. I'm getting a bit cold. And I'm going to go and mend my dad's greenhouse door. Jan Ove, vad glad jag blir att du har fest hemma hos dig. Att det kom folk till dig för din fest. Alltså jag trodde att det skulle göra det. I thought there were going to be people at your party, Jan Ove. Because you are such a nice guy and your spot there by the river and oh, it's just beautiful. Skål allihop. Jag ska vända på kameran så att ni får se hur det ser ut. Karin, vi håller tummarna för Sverige, eller hur? Um, oh, I wonder how, if it's too dark to see how beautiful it is. Elaine, it's my pleasure. It's so nice. Oh, nej, fasen. Två, ett. Fuck. Sorry. That's the first time I almost swore on live Facebook. <laughs> Germany is beating Sweden in um, football. Right. That's the back of my dad's house. And it's a lovely ba balcony. And that's the other way. And you can hear the birds singing. There's some lovely forest walks. The, the main road is just up here so you can hear the cars. But it's a really lovely place to live. Sorry about swearing, by the way. That's really bad. <laughs> um, Elaine, I'm so glad that you uh, suggested... I mean, you gave me the idea of doing these Swedish fiddle tunes because it is midsummer and I wanted to do Swedish stuff on the fiddle. So it was really nice that you had some advice. It's really peaceful. It's wonderful. Peaceful and still near, like some bigger towns and train station and stuff. So it's very, very well located. Elaine, I think you're going to have to come to Sweden. Actually, you were telling me, Lane, that you are trying to thinking about picking up the fiddle and you have your inner fiddle player and all that. When I started playing the fiddle, I was 23 and I only started because I'd heard Irish music <laughs> and then I'd heard Scottish music. And I just wanted to play the fiddle. I, I wasn't that interested in Swedish music at all. I wanted to play Irish and Scottish, well, first Irish and then Scottish music. So I think sometimes you have to go to other countries to find inspiration and then find your own music, maybe. But Every way of finding music is good, I think. So if it's Swedish music and D minor polskas from Ure that's going to attract you, Elaine, to the fiddle and get you to pick it up again and go crazy with it, then that's a great thing. So come to Sweden. Maybe you should come and see us and we'll take you to Ure and all the fiddle festivals. By the way, if you're going to come to Sweden, next week is a really good week. First week of July every summer. It's fiddle heaven in Sweden. And especially this area, there's like fiddle festivals all over the place. And people are standing outside in fields playing the fiddle till, well, till the sun goes up. It really is fiddle heaven. So Elaine, if you want to take a trip to Sweden, then come over first week of July and we'll show you the fiddle festivals. Gunnar, hey Gunnar! I've just played some tunes. I've just played a little Swedish fiol, Gunnar. I hope it's good with you. Glad midsommar allihop. Yeah, you're going to have to come, Elaine. I know. Book your flights now. Or take the train, even better. It's really fun to take the train between Scotland and Sweden, so do that. We'll pick you up at the train station. <laughs> okay, everyone, take care and have a great rest of the weekend and the midsummer. Glad midsommar allihop. Hej då!